Hi guys, you are watching Oxy Vlogs, and if this is your first time here and you would like to know more information about life in Dubai, don't forget to hit subscribe button and the bell icon so you won't miss anything. Today I'm gonna provide you with the main information about the public transportation in Dubai. Uh, there are several transportation options uh, that include Dubai Metro, Dubai Tram, Bus and Water Bus. Let's start with Dubai Metro. Uh, it is fully automated driverless railway system. Uh, the metro rides above ground, uh, providing the great view overlooking the city uh, when you travel, so it's quite an interesting uh, experience, especially for the tourists. You can purchase the tickets at any metro station and one-way ticket will cost you around 5 dirhams or you can buy a day pass for 20 dirhams. The tickets uh, is in the form of a null card which can also be used to pay for a tram and bus. Dubai's transportation system is divided into 7 zones. The price paid for a journey depends on the number of the zones crossed during the trip. Another option is to use Dubai tram, especially if you are planning to stay in Dubai Marina. It runs from Al Safa to Jumeirah Beach residences in 42 minutes. Uh, as I mentioned, you can use the same null card as for the metro. Uh, the tram provides access to destinations such as uh, Palm Jumeirah, Dubai Marina and Jumeirah Lake Towers. If you want to visit Palm Jumeirah, you should try the Palm Monorail. You can buy tickets at the stations, you cannot use uh, your null card and you can buy tickets only with cash. It's little expensive, but it gives you the aerial view of the palm and it takes you to the top from the palm and back. So it runs from the trunk of the palm to the iconic Atlantis the Palm Hotel. Uh, the single trip will cost you 20 dirhams and the round trip 30. Uh, another way to travel around Dubai is to take the city bus. It's a great budget option and you can use an old card to pay for your ride. And the bus stops uh, are air conditioned to keep you cool when it's hot outside. And the last option, which is more uh, for tourists, is to use the Dubai ferry. It currently runs from five terminals, seven days a week. And the trip runs for approximately one hour. It's a comfortable and quite affordable way to see the city from the water. I will leave the link with the schedule and prices in the description below. And one more uh, transportation option, which is not a part of the public transportation, uh, but you should consider it, is to rent a car. Uh, the business of renting a car in Dubai has become a big industry in recent years, so you can rent a car in Dubai easily. But before renting a car in Dubai, it is very important to know the general UAE driving rules and regulations. If you are a tourist, you need an international driver's license, passport, credit card and third-party insurance. And the age limit for drivers is minimum 25 years. But if you live in Dubai, you need to have a UE driving license, unless you have a driving license from reputed countries. Uh, just to give you an idea of prices, one of the cheapest uh, options uh, is to rent a Chevrolet Spark 2015. Uh, it will cost you 1,200 dirhams per month. Or if you want to rent a more luxurious car, you can rent, for example, Ford Mustang convertible 2014. It will cost you 6,000 dirhams per month or uh, 400 dirhams per day. So guys, I tried to give you an overview of the public transportation system in Dubai. If you find this information useful, please don't forget to hit the like under this video and leave your feedback in the comments below. And if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you for watching and I will see you very soon. Bye bye.